The content provided in this video has been personally researched and brought to the viewers for their benefit only. The content may be picked up and enhanced from various well-known speakers or authors. We do not claim to be any of them or discredit them in any way. We would like to stay anonymous and help the world. Affirmations are meant to help you to feel better, to raise your vibration. The idea is to say affirmations that stretch you, but not so far as to feel unbelievable. For example, The most powerful strategy to reprogram your mind. Dr. Joe Dispenza is an expert on how to reprogram your mind. The best way to reprogram your mind is to attend one of his retreats for a week, which many of us don't have the money or the time for, especially if the retreat is not close to us. But on his website at drjoedispenza.com, he has an online course that you can take for much less than a week-long workshop. He also has excellent meditation audios on his website, which are reasonably priced and are a great way to reprogram your mind. You can also find many of his meditations for free on YouTube. At Pacific, what our channel wants to accomplish is to stand on the shoulders of the giants in the self-help genre, like Dr. Joe Dispenza, and bring to you information and knowledge from other greats too. Knowledge and information that may help you even more to create the life that you want and to fully embrace your unlimited self. The point is that it's always a good idea to be open-minded and learn from multiple teachers, not just one. Yet recognize that the best teacher, the real guru, is you. You know what is best for you. Only you have been through what you have been through in life. Connecting you with your real self, your higher self, or your inner being should be the goal of any good teacher in this metaphysical field. The information provided here is simply a reminder of the things you already know. That's why it might resonate with you. If you're not new to the self-help world, you've probably heard quite a bit about the concept of reprogramming our minds. But what does it mean exactly and what is the best way to do it? In this video, we are going to cover what programming is, why it's crucial to reprogram your mind, and then a strategy to successfully do it. Some of this may be familiar to you and some not. If we are going to discuss how to reprogram your mind, it helps to understand how we are like a computer, or more accurately stated, how a computer is like us. You see, computers simulate the human mind, not the other way around. Computers were created after humans were. So it's not like we are like computers with the ability to be programmed, it's that computers are like us. Our bodies are like the computer hardware that houses the software programs in our subconscious mind in our brains. It may be helpful to analyze how computers store information in the same manner as our subconscious minds so that we can be more aware of how to reprogram ourselves. Even how folders and documents are stored on a computer is a good analogy as to how we work. A folder is like a belief and the documents inside that folder are like the events that happen to us to support the belief or folder. For example, if you have the folder belief that I'm not good enough, your subconscious mind will store many documented events to support that belief. Not only that, but the body will store the emotion of each one of those events to anchor that belief. And the stronger the emotion, the greater the memory is. And the greater the memory is, then the stronger the belief is. For example, if you messed up your third grade oral speech and it was the most embarrassing moment in your life, your subconscious mind computer would store away that event under the I'm not good at public speaking folder. And that folder, just like on a computer, may be found under the I'm not good enough folder. And the stronger that the emotion was, the more anchored and difficult it would be to change it. We are just like computers, but better stated, computers are just like us. If you are familiar with computers, you know that a computer program is software that runs on the hardware of the computer. You would also know that there is something called ROM, which stands for a read-only memory. This is a computer program that cannot be modified. You can think of ROM as if it is the deepest level of your subconscious mind. 
But for us, we can modify any program that we want for our ultimate health and function. Through the power of our desire, will, focus, and thought, we can heal ourselves of anything if we know how to reprogram ourselves. How is this possible? The reason why it's possible is that your thoughts not only can affect how you feel, they also can affect every single one of the cells in your body. Yes, you are that powerful. And yes, you are more powerful than any supercomputer. With all this discussion about programming, let's briefly discuss what it is before we get into how to reprogram yourself. A program is a set of instructions that a computer programmer creates to perform a certain valuable function or result. The only problem is that the computer is only as good as the software that it runs. In other words, if you have a super powerful computer, but it's running the program or operating system of Windows or Apple's very first operating system from years ago, then the computer is severely limited in what it can do, what it can produce, regardless of how powerful it is. The point is that you are a supercomputer that is more capable and more able than the fastest quantum computer on Earth. But you might be running the original version of Microsoft or Apple's program or operating system. Most of us have been programmed by society, religion, the educational system, well-meaning parents, siblings, and friends with programs that are either outdated and old or downright harmful. What are some of the programs that most of us are running? Most of us have been programmed to believe that we aren't good enough, aren't smart enough, aren't capable enough, or aren't whatever enough, when none of that is true. In other words, our potential is unlimited, but we have been programmed to believe otherwise. Fortunately for us, our subconscious mind programs are still programmable, although it's not easy to accomplish. The deeper the subconscious mind program is, the longer that it has been with us, the harder it will be to reprogram it. But don't worry because it can still be done. It just may take a little more time and energy. Now, let's get into the meat of this reprogramming topic. If you follow this strategy, you'll be able to reprogram your mind so that you can be your best self, be happy now, and create the life of your dreams. Although most of these steps have already been discussed previously, here they are with a bit more explanation. What is the first step to reprogram your mind? Step one is gain knowledge. You are already doing this step right now. Knowledge is power. You are only as powerful as the programs that your subconscious mind believes about yourself. The more accurate knowledge you have, the more power you will have. But to gain new knowledge, you must be open-minded. And to be open-minded, you have to have some humility. You must recognize that you may not have all the answers and that what you currently believe may be incorrect. That takes humility. The attitude that you must have is that you may not know everything about how life works and that you may even be wrong about some things. Cognitive congruence is when all of our beliefs fit well together. It's cozy. It's what our subconscious mind craves, but it's extremely limiting. Instead, it's best to have a bit of cognitive dissonance where you entertain the thought that you may not have all the answers, that you may not know everything, and that to embrace your powerful self, you must always be open to learning new things which may not be in harmony with what you believe right now. Anyone coming out of a cult understands this. They must go through a period where they objectively stand outside of themselves and question what they have been taught. It's about becoming aware of yourself, aware of awareness. Once you realize that life really is as if we are living in the matrix, it can be both frightening and thrilling. To challenge your old belief system and to embrace another can be the most difficult thing in the world. The point to this step is to get you to desire to gain as much knowledge as you can about how you and the universe really works. The more knowledge you have, the easier it will be for your subconscious mind programs to finally accept the new thoughts, feelings, and programs. Step number two, decide who you want to be to reprogram your mind. If you were to take away all of the negative programming that you ever had, who would you be? 
If you were to take away all of your limiting beliefs, bad habits, all of your vices, all of the negative memories and events from your past, who would you be right now? In other words, who are you really? Who is your best self? But even more importantly, who do you want to be? This point is crucial to the success of reprogramming yourself. You see, as stated before in another video, you are just the creator of your house, your car, or your abundance. You are the creator of you, of who you become along the way. If you're not quite sure who you really are, let's give you a foundation upon which you can build. You are an unlimited being. You are the creator of your own reality. You are unconditional love. You are the leading edge of source energy. You are not less than, you are greater than. And although it might be a little bit controversial to say this, you are that which man calls God. Not the God, but a ray of God, the extension of source energy. We are all in this together. We are all connected, and the main illusion is that of separation. We are all connected in this unlimited energy field, and we are all powerful spiritual beings having a human existence. So the question now is, who are you on top of this foundation? Dr. Wayne Dyer used to have us ask the question, what do you want written on your tombstone? Think about that for a moment. The point is to start with the end in mind first. Start with the greatest vision of yourself. What do you want to be remembered for? What are you passionate about? If you had all the time and money in the world, what would you do and who would you be? You can be anything you want to be. You can be, do, and have anything you want, but you must reprogram yourself to believe in yourself first. We must upgrade your operating system or subconscious mind programs so that you can be your best self. But first, get a very clear vision of who you really are by asking yourself, who do you want to be? Step number three. Think more about your future self in life to reprogram your mind. One of the great things about Dr. Joe Dispenza's meditation audios is that he does an excellent job of helping people to imagine what their future self would be like. What you want to do is imagine it so clearly that you feel like you are that person right now. The whole idea behind manifesting what you want is to feel as if you already have it, and that includes you who you are, how you would feel, how you would act, how you would walk differently, etc. The idea is that your subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between what you are experiencing and what you are imagining. So when you create the vision of who you want to be and think about that more than who you are right now, then both your subconscious mind and the universe will conspire together to make that reality true. Quantum physics proves that our universe is a field of possibility when we become more energy than matter, and that's what Dr. Joe Dispenza's meditations attempt to do. They get you to stop thinking about your 3D world with all your conditions and problems. He gets you to let go of your current reality and embrace the vision that you have of both what you want and who you want to be. So in this step, think more about your future self than you do about your current self and current reality. Don't face reality, create it. Step number four, meditate to reprogram your mind. Meditation is probably the most common denominator, go-to tool there is amongst all of the self-help teachers and healers out there. When you can quiet your mind from the onslaught of habitual negative thinking, you let go of resistance. You allow yourself to step into the quantum world of possibility rather than your current 3D world of matter. Science shows that when you meditate, you can get yourself into the ideal brainwave state of mind for doing your own reprogramming, which is the brainwave state of mind you have during meditation, right before you fall asleep and even when you are asleep. When you get to that brainwave state, that is when you can reprogram your subconscious mind the easiest. That is when you can reprogram old programs with new thoughts and beliefs. Dr. Joe Dispenza has one technique that he uses, which is standing meditation with your eyes open and closed, 
and walking meditation with your eyes open while remaining in a trance. The idea is to feel what it would be like to be your future self. Remain in that trance-like state of mind and then walk around with your eyes open while you do your best to remain in the trance state. The benefit of this technique is that it helps you to transition to your awakened state while you're still feeling the feeling of what it would be like to be your future self. It's one of the best ways to reprogram yourself with the new you or anything that you might want to manifest. Step five, say your daily affirmations to reprogram your mind. Most of us already know how important it is to say affirmations. But remember, if you say affirmations that you don't believe, it could backfire on you and make you feel worse. Affirmations are meant to help you to feel better, to raise your vibration. The idea is to say affirmations that stretch you, but not so far as to feel unbelievable. For example, rather than say as an affirmation, I am a millionaire, which you may not believe, it may be better to say something like, money is coming to me in greater and greater quantities. Everyone is different, of course. This is why affirmations should be something that you customize for yourself. Also, as you start to manifest more and more into your life, you will want to say affirmations that stretch you more and more too. Get into the habit of saying affirmations all throughout your day. Speak highly of yourself to yourself. Be your own cheerleader. Be your own life coach. Remember that the goal is to think more about who you want to be than who you are right now. Another really good thing to do to reprogram your mind is to listen to affirmations at nighttime while you sleep. There are lots of good free ones online, such as by a YouTuber named Brian Scott. When you perform all of these five steps together to reprogram your old negative subconscious beliefs, you'll have a powerful strategy. When you perform all of these five steps together to reprogram your old negative subconscious beliefs, you'll have a powerful when you, per when you perform all of these five steps together to reprogram your old negative subconscious beliefs, you'll have a powerful strategy that will upgrade your software to the latest version of who you really are. And when you upgrade all of your programs to the latest version, you'll be the happiest version of yourself possible and your life will be better than you could have ever imagined.